Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report. We are covering today how to deal with jealousy, how to overcome jealousy, how to get rid of jealousy, how to stop <laughs> jealousy, and how to control jealousy, all things involving jealousy and envy. Let's get right into the material. Five steps to overcome in five minutes. Let's get to the show. So step number one when it comes to how to overcome jealousy and how to control jealousy is to repent. And so what repentance means to one, change your mind, two, to feel sorrowful, and three, to return to God. So in short, when you repent, you can also um, get more grace from God because he says that he gives more grace to the humble. And so part of this humility is confession. If we confess our faults one to another, God will forgive our sins and heal us if we are sick emotionally or physically. So physical manifestation of envying and jealousy can be sickness. And so when it comes to confession, go to your spiritual leadership, your pastor, your church, your Bible study, your accountability partners. But a greatest show of humility when it comes to envying and jealousy is actually going to that person and apologizing. And if you say, oh, I don't need to apologize. Why do I have to apologize? Boom, right there is actually an inkling, an unction, an indication of pride. And so apologizing is not that big of a deal. And that is your first step for grace, forgiveness, and all that good stuff to happen internally in you. Step number one, repent of your sins, okay? Step number two, it says that contentment in godliness is great gain. So jealousy is when you want someone else's um, thing, but envying is when you want to like, in short, be that person, embody them. And so when you are jealous of them, it is covetedness. And so just know this thing when it comes to sin, sin is never satisfied. And so you have to be content in your portion. No matter how much money you get, if you have a million dollars, you're going to want $10 million. If you want um, their wife, you're going to get her and she's going to be old and then you want uh, more wife. If you want to have porn and watch it, you're going to uh, get whatever you're trying to get in satisfaction and then you're going to need more porn and masturbation. You're going to drink, get drunk, and smoke weed and guess what? You're going to need more of it. Sin is never satisfied. So contentment and godliness is great gain. So just love um, yourself and not have such a poverty and lack mentality. All right. Number three, comparison is the killer of joy. And the Bible says not to look to the left or to the right. So it says that we walk on the <laughs> the path to everlasting life is a straight and narrow and wide is the path of destruction and um, broad is the way to hell. And so in short, when you um, compare, you're embodying um, the devil. Because um, if you go to Galatians 5, there's um, works of the flesh. And part of that is envy, envying, jealousy, strife, all these things that are contentious in conflict and against one another, being an accuser of the brethren. Never for anything, but being critical. And so you have to be content and it says acknowledge every good thing that's in you in Christ Jesus. So if you are able to acknowledge what Jesus has put into you, you will not be jealous because you will love yourself, your portion, and be appreciative of what the Lord has given you. All right, number four, serve help others be hospitable. It says that the master of all will be servant of all. So if you want to not be jealous, um, it's, it, it's short, an idle mind is the devil's playground. Not every emotion comes from you. Not every uh, feeling comes from you. Not every idea comes from you. It can come from demons, the devil, and unclean spirits. Actually putting in lust, desires and all things that don't add to godliness right and so if you are serving in your church but also serving god evangelizing ministering healing doing miracles and all that cool stuff guess what you are humbling yourself so all that pride and all that sin built into you it has to be done away with it has to be casted out and so boom and then number five last one be thankful 
accept Jesus' love to fill that God-sized hole that you are um, just moving from a lack mentality to an abundance mentality. So Jesus said that he has come to give us life and life more abundantly, right? And so when you are jealous, that's a poverty mindset that is a lack mindset in heart, right? And all you're trying to do is fill a God-sized hole and all the weed, all the envying, all the money, all the women, all the drugs, all the men, all the sexual relations, all you're gonna find is that you're just going to come to the end of yourself and that it will never be enough because what you need is God. You need the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you need Jesus Christ. OK, so um, practical steps actually um, make lists of what you are thankful for. So it says it be anxious for nothing, but in prayer, supplication and thanksgiving, make your petitions known unto God and that is what is going to come. So if you want to get rid of jealousy, just pray and fast. I'm also believing in this prayer, in this confession of faith, in the name of Jesus Christ. You watched this video, you clicked on it, <laughs> or whatever, it's uh, meant for you. And um, just repeat after me, and I believe through the proclamation and the declaration of our faith, these things will create new beginnings in your life. So just repeat after me. All right. Lord Jesus. I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I repent of all sin, all iniquity, all transgressions, all of my jealousy, all of my envying, every soul tie, every generational curse, every stronghold in my life is broken by the name of Jesus Christ. I confess that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus came in the flesh, and that Jesus is the Son of God, and that you will baptize me right now with the baptism of the Holy Spirit to fill me with fire and consume everything that is not like you. I confess that I move from a lack and poverty mentality to abundance, that you fill this God-sized hole with the blood of Jesus and the fullness of your love. So I thank you, I receive it, and it's by grace through faith that I am saved and I shall receive this new life and new walk. Thank you uh, for watching, this will happen. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we have all new videos every week. Come back next week on the blessingreport.com. And hey, give us to someone who needs to be free. In Jesus' name.